If you have not already gotten a color match with your consultant, then little tip, go on to her Mary Kay website and do the foundation quiz. <laughs>
or you can apply, uh, do a couple spritz of your makeup finishing spray on whatever applicator you are using as well. So if you're using the blending sponge or even um, possibly one of your other liquid foundation brushes, um, you can just spritz it on there and it just helps to get that more staying power, okay? So that's in the process of making your um, foundation stick. So again, you can apply it after your primer just as another layer, okay, to help the meltdown um, and make everything stick. Um, or you can actually apply it to the applicator, which is cool too. So, all right. So just to review, <laughs> foundation primer was first, and then you get your sponge wet, squeeze it how many times? better be 13, 13 times you squeeze it. And then you are going to maybe do a little spritz of your finishing spray or do a little spritz on your face. And then you go to town putting on your foundation. Okay. So now just make sure I get a little, a few little spots there. Perfect. See how that needle, that um, tip on there, it kind of gets all those little areas. Okay. So then what we want to do is make sure that we set our makeup, right? So, um, after that, um, already you're going to tell that like, you're like, wow, my skin is super smooth right now. Um, but it doesn't feel dry. So we're trying to kind of mat out and, and help with the oil control. Um, but we don't want to over dry our skin either. Okay. So now we're going to move on to this amazing, amazing product, which is our translucent powder. So translucent powder, you guys, this is so finely milled. It has silica and I believe you say mica in it. And um, what those add-ins do is it makes it super, super fine. So it gives you a satiny finish. So for example here, I'm taking my blending sponge and I'm dipping it in. You can see I'm dipping it into the translucent powder. I usually get too much, but um, just tap it on the back of your hand first. And then literally you can go underneath your eye like that. And it just kind of sets. If you wanted to do concealer, you could also do a little bit of concealer under there and then tap the translucent powder on top and it just smooths everything out. So you can do that underneath your eyes and you can also use the flat edge like this and kind of get to some bigger areas like around your cheeks. And again, just kind of tap if you want to. I find that the tapping actually helps um, from the meltdown happening <laughs> more so than taking a big fluffy brush and kind of dusting it on your face. Um, if you are just concerned about a little bit of shine, that is something that you could do is just take your big um, fluffy brush and um, just kind of dust your face to set your makeup. But if you are <laughs> someone who really needs to make sure your makeup does not melt off, then you are probably going to want to use that blending sponge and use the translucent powder that way. Okay. Thing all right. So I just want to mention, cause these like never get mentioned hardly at all. Um, but these are our, uh, beauty blotter oil absorbing tissues. <laughs> so perfect to help with any type of shine that you might get on your face. And so, um, there's 75 in this little packet here and I'll just pull one out so you can see it just this little tissue. And it's great because it's kind of multi-purpose. If you do get a little shine throughout the day, just have these in your purse. You can pull them out, blot them, um, blot where you need to. And what's special about these is it doesn't smear your makeup. Okay. So once you put it on, it's just taking the oil off. It's not going to take your makeup off. So that's important to note. And then just a little side tip. If you are someone who likes a particular color of our lipsticks, but you prefer more of a matte finish, and the color that you like happens to be a satiny finish, then what you can do is take your beauty blotter and go like this with any lipstick you have on. And now I have just made my um, semi shine lipstick um, actually a matte. All right, so that is our makeup meltdown. So just to finish, right? We Now we are finished with our, um, our makeup here. So we're gonna use our finishing spray. It's, I call this hairspray for your makeup. So one, two, three, and four. And now I am all done and my face is going to look like this until I wash it off. I would love for you to like, comment on this video and subscribe to my channel. Every week I give you beauty tips, I give you movement tips, and I help you elevate your mindset. So if you'd like to give your confidence a boost, make sure to subscribe to this channel and you will get notified every time I post a video. I also have a free beauty gift for you. So check out the description below. There are also links to everything that I used in this video as well. So you can get your hands on those. I will see you next time.